This little girl is laughing at her, look what the doctor did will make you amaze. Every couple rejoices at the arrival of a little baby to the family. They are waiting with joy and enthusiasm for the day of birth. When Angel was born, her mother, Cypress Salon, from the Philippines, was alarmed when she didn't hear her daughter cry. But she didn't realize the severity of the situation until she saw her baby for the first time five days later. A hernia, which is more common in children from Southeast Asia than elsewhere, occurs when the skull and tissues surrounding the brain do not close completely in the womb. Angel, from the Philippines, was taken to another hospital for treatment shortly after his birth after being diagnosed with a brain tumor, a rare cerebral hernia. When I first saw her, I cried a lot, the lady told the age salon. I was crying every moment I looked at her and blamed her condition. Angel had the surgery just four months after her parents raised $5,500 for the surgery in the Philippines, but although it helps prevent her brain from leaking into the hernia, it still covered most of her left eye. The hernia made it difficult for Angel to lead a regular life and prevented her from sleeping, breathing, and playing like other children her age, Angel often had to lift or move the lump so she could see. Her peers also described Angel as a monster, but when a four-year-old approached her and said it to her face, the optimistic little girl patted him on the shoulder and said, hello, dot. I was very surprised by her response, the salon lady told the age, adding that Angel knew children were afraid of her. I was so proud of her because she loves all children and wishes she had friends who wouldn't call her a monster. After fighting to raise another $8,000 to completely remove Angel's hernia, Miss Salon and her husband, Dale, were referred to the Children's First Foundation, a nonprofit that aims to change children's lives by offering hope, exceptional care, and pathways to a brighter future. Miss Salon was referred to the institution by Interplast, a group of Australian and New Zealand volunteer surgeons, nurses and assistant therapists who provide free surgical treatment and medical training to people in developing countries in the Asia-Pacific region. Her parents called Angel for the first time in 2014, and the Interplast team saw her later that year, the organization wrote on Facebook. The Children's First Foundation flew Angel and her father to Australia for the surgery, and the craniofacial unit at Adelaide Women and Children's Hospital performed the procedure in September. The mother said thanks to organizations like Interplast and Children First that are working to change the future of children like Angel, who is now happy and lives like everyone else and kids don't laugh at her. The four-hour surgery, performed by surgeon Walter Flaber, involved cutting the 200-gram lesion off Angel's face before using bone taken from her hip to close the opening in her forehead. The surgery was successful and Angel was later able to see the hernia. She will also have surgery to reshape her nose, it was pushed to one side due to the weight of the hernia, in the coming months and will be flown to Australia to do so. When Angel's family first saw her, they were thrilled and had a birthday party on the 5th of November. We celebrated it with the children in our area and other relatives, Miss Salon said. She was very happy. Since sharing their story, Angel and her family have been inundated with supportive comments from people who have been affected by their story. I am so amazed at how this family has so much courage and love. A woman wrote on Facebook. This makes my eyes water. I love humanitarian action by everyone involved. Another book, God bless you. God bless Angel and her family. God bless the associations and all those who contribute to the happiness and recovery of Angel the Little Angel.